through him and Sonic Mega. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wonder if uh, Scat's like ready to you know reclaim the throne as the uh, Mega Man best Mega Man Ditto player. I mean, so far he's kind of got the, the right movement going on. I'm not gonna lie. Like uh, one of the things he's kind of doing against <laughs> against God, I lost I lost the place here. Against Trim is that he kind of knows like when it comes to the close range combat, the one thing you want to do is oh, like parry. But when you're off the he stage, he didn't know man. how to deal with that back air from deep. That's pretty much what he's gonna see a lot. From yeah. both these characters, you you have you have to go for that deep back air because Mega Man always gonna go for that deep recovery because he has rush. Technically, it's just California rules. They do whatever the fuck they want, bro. I mean, they kind of have. I don't even know. It's canon, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways. All right. Let's get back into it. So this is a pretty, pretty close. Like, I don't know. I haven't seen seen or heard of Trim before. Um, I am told that he is from Europe, actually. Okay. So it's really interesting to see a lot of these players coming up from different uh, different Mega Man's from different regions that I have. Dude, some of us it's don't like even a know worldwide of. affair here. It's just a local man. <laughs> we got yep. we got someone here it, from it, Europe. It, we got Kamei from Japan. We got. And it's not my fault. Southeast. You guys have decided to host a C tier on a Monday. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm I can't sure. believe the amount of support this tournament got. I, yeah. I say that every time, like we do, like you know, every few hundred ones. I say that like MSM 100. I said it for MSM 50, but I I can't believe that it's gotten 400 entrants yeah. on Monday. It's crazy. That's why I tell people, man, seat here on a Monday, only it's, only two GGs. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, that was such a sick. Come Wait, from. while we're out of here, shameless oh. plug. If you guys want to know the, the origins. Oh, here we go. Oh, uh, come on, bro. You were there. You were there. <laughs> you were right there. Wait, okay, look. If you want to know the origins of MSM, I want to talk to one of the founding fathers of MSM, Sonic Mega, a.k.a. Sean Chiplock. Um, We had an interview with him and the podcast, a little known podcast called uh, Smash Talk Podcast. It is now live on the 2G, uh, 2G Gaming YouTube channel. Check it out. We interview Sonic Mega about the origins of MSM, and of course, his origins as a actual voice actor. Yes. So, uh, it's actually a really fun show we did, and he should be showing up here at any time, you know. Yeah. So Great with his, his presence. His presence, his, his beautiful voice. So this is a pretty good for Scott. I, I was talking with Scott a little bit yesterday with uh, the other Mega Mans, and he was saying how he feels about the Ditto. It's uh, really difficult for Mega Man to make a comeback against himself when he's already behind. Well, the because he doesn't do that much damage. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yes, yeah, that was a great backer, but he has to rely on like edge guards to get the kill a lot of times. He can't get like get a raw kill that easily. Yeah. Well, that's kind of one of those things about Mega Man. He plays so much like his own video game, right? Oh, oh that deep forward air. From the deep? No. But he's so easy to hit here. Oh, he got away with that. That was oh, good. That was good roll read, but unfortunately, he was a little bit of a hair off. I thought he was just gonna wait for him to do the double jump and then just hit him again, but. He's still go, in a really good spot. Deep. He wants. I think he wanted to wait for the. Uh, as I say, he wanted to wait for the hard knuckle there, but unfortunately, he lost the timing. Back there, that'll definitely do it this time. That robot, not that heavy, but it'll take game one here. Nice. So funny enough, uh, even though Scat's in a lot playing a lot of uh, Snake now in this game, um, he's still really good at the Mega Man Ditto. He even said that even though he doesn't super prefer to play the Ditto like in you know a serious tournament match. He still practices enough to know how to, you know, manipulate the weaknesses of Mega Man really well. So it's really cool to see. Let's see if Trim though can, uh, you know, impress us a little bit here. Get a game off of Scat in the round robin. And round robins uh, actually count for a lot. Or wins or wins and losses count for a lot more in round robin too. So even if he loses here to Scat, if uh, he can get at least one game, uh, like the, is this the best of five or best of three? Best of, uh, I was gonna say best of three. Best it should be best of three. Round Robins is the best of three. Okay. Yeah, if you can get like, a game here instead of like getting, you know, potentially two old, it would look good for him in the rest of the Round Robin. But he might even just be able to potentially just beat Scat. So I think he started out really strong in the first game anyway. Yeah. And uh, if Scat's, you know, well, thoughts on the Mega Man Ditto are true, like if you <laughs> lose a lead and try to come back, it's really difficult. If, you know, Trim can have the lead, it'll work really well for him. Like, like on paper, if you think about this right, it is a character that is fighting himself in another character in the game of Smash. You're, you're virtually just playing Mega Man. You are playing the actual game. So you kind of have to predict your opponent's pattern, get used to the pattern, understand where they're going to go for a retreat. Things like that. Those are really important, especially understanding on the neutral, right? What's my opponent's attack patterns like? And then expose that and then go in. And it's kind of like a battle of who exposes whose patterns first. Yeah, that is, that is very true. 
I see Trim uh, getting a little bit of the hang of how to fight Scott, too. Yeah. Find himself off stage. Oh, I like to oh, save that jump. Save fear. that jump, but he went too the low. The fear. Can you believe it? He's got edge guarded him without even pressing a button. All he did was jump next to him and threaten the uh, back air. And then that was enough to make Trim just waste all his resources off stage. That's kind of funny. Yeah, and I do like the way how he's using the Metal Blade as Z-Drop and then cover any approach that Trim would be having from below at all. Ooh. Oh, but that up smash, that'll definitely take it, especially caught him jumping. Yeah, even if you're on the ground, it scoops you up, too. Yeah. It's a really good move. Oh, missed the last hit of the dash attack. Man, that downer is so much safer than it was in the previous game. Yeah, that's pretty cool, too, because it's, like, really unique movement that, it, like, it's a projectile that's also a spike. It's a, yeah, it's a spiking projectile. It's kind of like one of the, it's kind of funny if you think about it, too, because a lot of Smash characters do have, like, interesting properties in general. So Mega Man's property is what makes him so interesting is that he does have his toolkit from the video game. Yeah. Okay, Trim kind of finds himself behind but nice. No bait to the back here. He doesn't oh, yeah. wait out the recovery, but he gets him up there. Keeping him in the air where he wants him, but nice. Nice leaf shield there from Scott to get back to the ground. Fourth throw, nice. Oh, Sets up the fourth Buster. smash. Oh, he had to oh. let go. Yeah, he had to go. Oh, man, that was so scary, but oh. wow, nice roll punish. Caught this man rolling. You always love to see the Mega Man up, so sure you can come in out. Such a satisfying move to land, especially the sweet spot. Yeah, uh, first seen in Mega Man The Power Fighters. Actually, super rare Mega Man game, actually. Quite a, kind of like one of those few rare Mega Man games that if you bought the Mega Man collection in the GameCube era, you would have gotten that the only way to play that game up re until recently. Mega Man facts. You're gonna you're gonna be uh, supplying us with the Mega Man facts for the rest of the uh, round robin. Yeah, dude, I'm chock full. I'm chock full of them. <laughs> nice. At least one of them. One of us is. Yeah, that's a good forward air coming off from Scat. Not falling too far behind. Oh, gotta watch that crash bomb. He's actually really clutch at like saving himself when he's in these really bad spots off stage with no double jump. Like he's been making it back. <laughs> yeah. The one thing that I do like is it's kind of like a little bit of a battle of the leaf, blade, the leaf shield because each 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 Mega Man is going to go for one because you stand there, you take the damage, and then you go ahead and go for a follow back. Right, right, right. So it's kind of like their bread and butter to, to get damage. Yeah, nice. this is really smart too. It just recognize how much both these guys understand their character. They're actually really good at punching the leaf shield too. Like a lot of people just get really frustrated by that move, mm -hmm. but uh, they're just waiting it out, blocking it, and just knowing when they can beat it out with a hitbox drone like that, like the forward air, going right, right through the move. Back air, nice. Oh. Up the edge guard oh, here. he got the metal blade. He has to but go low, but he still recovers. Oh, he's on the back air. Is he gonna get? Oh, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for oh. it. Oh, yeah. This is literally his opportunity. Yeah, there you go. Get the grab. Good Send him back off the stage. Oh yeah, my he, goodness. He's been trying to he's land that. So, <laughs> so good at waiting for their defensive option off stage. Yeah, he's been trying spike. to land that. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like one of those things. Like I, I failed to land that several times. I will get. 